Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how you can make these super cute characters in a really easy way using GoodNotes. This is the character builder. This is designed exclusively for GoodNotes. So what you do is you download the file and you send it straight to GoodNotes. It's going to be ready to use and it's going to look exactly like the one I have right here. This here is an example that I drew of what you can do with this builder. You have your three different characters here and then you have a little background behind them and I will show you how you can add that too. This is an interactive file, so if you go to your no pen mode so you can activate the links, you actually have buttons like this one that says let's get started that will bring you to the first page and after that you have these icons up here that are linked to the different sections of the builder. Right now I will only swipe to show you the sections but know that this is interactive so you have different buttons that take you to different sections. So the first page is this one where it says select skin tone. I have made the bodies as images instead of ink and you will see why that is useful in a little bit but right now you have seven different skin tone options and you have instructions here in each slide of what you need to do you have some other messages or tips down here in the gray square so you can study those but it's actually quite simple so I just want to show you you will be using mostly your lasso tool which is this icon right here so if you have that selected you can draw a selection inside or on top of the element that you want in this case i want this body so once i drew my selection i tap on that selection click on copy then i swipe to go to the next slide and here's where i'm going to choose the hair but first i need to paste the body that i just copied so i tap and hold anywhere on the screen to click on paste i can place my character where you have the character shape right here and then you will choose the hair so in this case for example i want to choose this hair from down here this is important, you need to copy and paste every element that you want so it's on top of the body because if I pull this and place it, the body will be on top because the body was the last thing that I added, so that's not good. That's one reason and the second reason why you have to make a copy of this instead of just using the actual element is because you want to be able to come back to your builder and do a different character and if I use what I have here then I'm not going to be able to keep using the same element, okay? So to not mess up your original file just make copies of everything. So I'm gonna copy again with my lasso tool, paste adjust the hair and before deselecting I can click again and tap on color to choose a different color. I'm gonna choose a brown, like that. Now if you deselect it you can still use the lasso tool to select the hair and click on color and then you can pick a different color. This is why it's helpful to have the body be an image and the hair be ink because now when I select my hair, the body is also selected, but since it's not ink, it's not going to be modified when I change the color. Let me turn off my images so I can select just the hair. So here you tap on the lasso tool and then under it, toggle the option of images to off. And then you can select just the ink, so just the hair right now. And you can still adjust the parts of the hair. For example, I want this to be a little higher to show more face. You can do that, but if you keep them together, it's gonna be easier to manage. So just remember when you're making a copy, just select both parts of the design. Okay, now that I have the hair I want, I'm gonna toggle my images option again to on so I can select both the body and the hair. And then I'm going to select the body and the hair with the lasso tool, tap, cut. And that's gonna bring my character to the following slide. So tap anywhere on the screen, paste, place my character and now I can choose the clothes. I'm going to select this skirt, tap and hold, click on paste, you can resize and adjust if needed. And then I want this long sleeve shirt, I think it's gonna look cute, tap and hold, click on paste and place it on top. And remember you can change the color right here, some pink. And I'm gonna change the color of the skirt also, like that. Make sure that your images and handwriting are both toggled to on and select the whole character to cut it and move on to the next slide. This is where you will select shoes and accessories. I always forget the shoes, so I'm gonna do those first. I want these like sneakers, so copy, paste, and I think they're too big, so a little smaller. 
I need to mention a few things from the accessories. It says here that the color of some accessories or its parts cannot be modified. What that means is that some accessories, for example, this sweatband here, can be modified, but not the entire thing. So what's black will stay black, and the white part can be modified. So if you select it with a lasso tool, click on color, pick a color, and that will modify the color of the band, but it will keep the black outline. And some objects, like these goggles here, cannot be modified at all, as in the color cannot be changed, okay? So these ones are as they are. And also here, this might not be so obvious, but I'm gonna show you what these are. These are actually pearl jewelry that you can place on your characters. These ones can also not be modified because they're an image. They're not hand-drawn elements like the rest. And some of these are also not so obvious. So this is a band. Let me show you real quick what it does. You, I'm gonna copy it and using my links up here, I'm gonna go back to the hair just to show you. You can place them on hairs that have a bun, like this one, okay? Or like this other one. Just so you know, that's what these bands are for. I'm gonna jump back to my accessories. This is a bow tie, a tie, and then you also have a purse that you could use here and place it on the hand of your character. Now, this is a banner that, let, let me show you again how I used it. I just used it at the bottom of my characters to write a word or a name, or in this case, the family name. So that's what the banner is for, just so you know. And this is another element that can be modified a little bit, but the outline will stay black. So if you select it, click on color, and change the color, the color of the banner will change, but the outline will stay black. So if I'm done adding accessories, I will cut my whole character and bring it into the next slide. Now is where I choose a face. You have different facial expressions. The first two rows have eyelashes and the other two have no eyelashes. That's the difference. And for now, I just want like a normal happy face. So I'm gonna copy, paste. I need to make it a little smaller. It's like too big. So I'm just gonna resize it a little bit, something like that. And as you can tell, you can barely see the mouth. I'm not even sure you can see it in the camera. It's like right here, super light. So I'm just gonna draw another one using my pen tool. Not too noticeable so like that you see and I just drew in a mouth that you can see better and I also forgot to explain but this side this is kind of for the male characters you have this is hair right and this is the beard which not might not be so obvious but that's actually the beard you can move them together and these are also mustaches okay once you put the face on it's going to make more sense this is also a beard you actually have plenty of room to do more than one character at once, so that's an option too. So let's see, if I want to use, for example, this face. Once you place an image on top of an image, in this case, the faces are images and the bodies are also images. So if you place a face on top of a body, once you select this, you're gonna select both the face and the body. So to separate them, you can tap and hold on the object that's on top and that's gonna give you the option to click on edit and then you can move it aside and then you can use your lasso tool to select this, okay? Now what I want to mention is that you can crop out parts of the face so for example I don't want this mouth so I'm just gonna crop out the eye bring them back and I can leave it like that or I can draw in a mouth I can draw my own expression so that's another thing you can do, you can crop out parts of the face. You just keep them out, for example. All right, so going to my girl, she has a face, so I'm ready to cut it and move on. And then you get to your character keeper. So this is where you just keep all of your characters and this is accessible by tapping on this heart from any page. So if you're doing your hair and then you wanna skip to your favorites or your character keeper, that's where that will take you. You have them easily available to go and copy them and use them on your planner. 
So let's see, I'm going to use this on my planner. So I just select this girl, open my planner, and then I can paste my character here. You can stop there, or if you're making a portrait similar to the one that I showed you in the beginning, where you have multiple, multiple characters, or even just one character, but if you want, you can add a background. These are the background options you have. I'm gonna keep swiping, so just paste my character here, and then bring a background, let's say this shape I like, copy, paste. And since I just pasted the background, it's actually gonna be on top of my character. This background is actually a little transparent, so it doesn't matter much, but I want my character to be on top. So I'm just going to select it again, cut, paste, and that's gonna place it right on top of the background. So now you can just resize this shape. You could even rotate it. For example, if I only have one character, maybe this is better if it's vertical, and I can change the color. And then you have a little like portrait sticker that you can again come and use in your planner. Now, if you're sure that this is a sticker that you want and you're gonna be using it repeatedly in GoodNotes, I suggest that you screenshot it because as of right now, this is editable, but having a lot of elements on your planner might make it difficult and accidentally, you know, grab a part and kind of deform the design. So what I suggest you do is, once that your character is done, you can go to one of your blank pages that you get included right at the end of the builder, paste it. I'm gonna get rid of the background for now. And I'm going to make this bigger just to have better quality, something like that. I'm going to screenshot using the top and volume button of my iPad Pro, and then I can crop it, done. Save to photos. Okay, and then you can use the Magic Eraser app to remove the white background. I'm gonna link a video below showing how you can do that. But you can also just bring in your recently taken screenshot, which is this one, and in GoodNotes you can crop it. So if you tap on the image, tap on crop, and then on freehand, you can just go around the sticker to just leave a white outline and get rid of everything else. Now, I don't risk moving part of the sticker because this is just one single image. So it's going to be easier to manage in my planner and it looks just as good. One thing I'd like to mention is that these are all elements that I drew myself directly into GoodNotes and I did that so that you can modify the color and the size yourself but that means that you know all of the shapes are not exactly perfect, but I like that it gives it this natural hand-drawn style. It's really fun to create your own characters and your own stickers, and it's really quick, really. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. If you have any questions, just drop me a comment below. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any videos that I upload. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.